Hi guys, uh, just a quick video to show you something uh, what I think is a little bit special. It's a bit of a rare thing now. The problems with Fiat and delivering on their vans, it's been a bit of a nightmare with Fiat. But this came through as a cancelled order from a customer. A dealer phoned me up and said we've got a L1 H2 in stock. It was uh, ordered as a camper van, so it's got lots of uh, really nice luxuries on it. Um, it's got, they've got the, um, it's got alloy wheels and it's got uh, all season tyres on it's got a Rivasto night eater to pre-warm the engine things like that it's got the spotlights on 7 inch uh, cluster in the middle aircon sat nav cruise so it's a real special van and uh, I just wanted to show it you and let you have a look round So I'll show you inside the Treve, and we've kept it pretty much like a Treve high top, but because it's a factory high top, uh, it's slightly different. So it's a bit of a one-off design, but it's keeping in the form of the uh, classic Treve look. And you notice we've got the, uh, the captain's chairs there, 90 litre fridge as always. It's, it's the same layout, we've got the, the customers opted for a microwave uh, option in this, and uh, they've got some really nice big deep drawers and cupboards. Uh, because it's a high top, you get lots of big cupboard space, and you can see the practicality of these are just tremendous. You know, I mean, I always love the simple fact of if you get, you know, to stop things falling out. If you go like this, at least you know it's going to fall out. Whereas if you're opening it up, it's already fell out before you see it. So silly little things like that make all the difference in my mind. We've got the other cab uh, storage facility. If you wanted that leaving open, so we can put all the bedding up there and bits and bobs. And again, on this side. We've got nice cupboards all the way down this side as well, with three nice cupboards and a big back cupboard as well. Lots and lots of storage. I mean, that's a huge old cupboard there. Great for bedding, bits and bobs like that. And then even a little top locker up here. So the cupboard space in this van is, uh, is tremendous. And then we went for a midi Eki, which is a beautiful big old vent and um, 700 by 500 really nice and you've got the blinds and the fly nets on as well so uh, at night time very pretty unit I mean you can have it in different setting places bits and bobs like that so that makes it a really nice uh, thing and then we've got a traditional uh, two burner and sink combination unit we've got the uh, cassette blinds as always on the Treve which make a really nice option I mean compared to vans this size just not forgetting this is a short wheelbase under five meter van we've got the double glazed windows and all these windows open as well so no condensation ever really nice units if you notice this one's got a twin sliding door option as well so when we open that door if you stay there I'll go and open it it just gives that extra bit of space and um, when you sat this side of the van if the sun's at this side of the van, you can open the van up. It just gives you, you know, a lot more fresh air. You can sit this side, getting the last of the sun, um, and uh, you still got your van and all your facilities there. I'll show you the back of the van. Uh, so once uh, the customer saw this van at Harrogate, it uh, it sold very quickly on the morning uh, we first. Uh, put it out for sale and uh, it got a lot of nice responses from there uh, but the customer had some unique sort of uh, requirements themselves so we retrofitted uh, some great kit for them we upgraded it to a 200 amp lithium battery package which is tremendous it's a great battery system and it's got the Victron controllers and it's got a smart shunt on there as well so you can literally see how much is in your battery how long it's going to last uh, great bit of kit there but that's not where it stops they want to use a uh, EcoFlow unit. They've got a nice uh, portable EcoFlow battery system, and they want to be fully off grid and be uh, anywhere they want to be with mains power. So uh, we put them up in. Uh, we put in instead of having it outside the van and plugging it into your hookup point as as you you know you can do. We put them a second 
hookup point inside the vehicle. So we can have the eco flow unit here. We've got another hookup point there. So we just plug straight into there and we've got a changeover switch. So E is for the eco flow and H is for hookup. So uh, and then you can turn it off as well. That way it still runs through the control system. The power is always going through the RD, RCD trips so it's safety uh, paramount there. But um, it's a great addition to the van and it makes it uh, that little bit more special. If you want to see more things about the lithium upgrades we do and the special bits and tweaks we do, why don't you head over to our uh, YouTube channel and subscribe and uh, see some more videos on there.